So as you know, online video is super powerful for growing your business. But the problem is, what do you actually make videos about? And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing 10 video ideas that you could use specifically for growing your real estate business with Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and other platforms. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do a lot of tech gear reviews as well as tips and strategy videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. But hey, I actually just got done speaking at a real estate event here in Las Vegas. And part of that talk was about 10 different video ideas that you can use for growing your real estate business. Sometimes we get blocked, right? We know video is powerful, but we don't know what to actually make videos about. So I think you're gonna love this training. So let's cut into it right now. So I wanna give you 10 quick video ideas for real estate, specific quick video ideas that you could do specifically for real estate. And you could put these anywhere. These actually could go on Instagram. Uh, Instagram does video, but definitely on Facebook, also on YouTube, multi-purpose, but 10 quick video ideas. Number one is interview videos. I wanna also keep in mind, and we, we could talk about it, hey Sean, what camera should I buy? Well, I don't know, I have a lot of recommendations, but honestly, your smartphone's good enough. Pull out your smartphone, it shoots HD video, and if you, um, uh, get done with a client or maybe you're at a, a, an open house or maybe just close the house, you could just turn the camera on and just shoot a testimonial. Hey, let's talk about the process. How, what'd you think it was like working with me or turn the camera on them? You know, we really can level up our marketing and it revolutioned our business when we started using video testimonials. Testimonials are good, but video testimonials are super powerful because people get to see people who look like them, who sound like them, that they can relate to. When you say, look, I, I got your back. I'm gonna give you the best deal. I'm gonna help you close your house. I'm the best in the business. Well, of course you'd say that, right? I mean, because it's so hard to talk about yourself and market yourself. One of the best marketing is your past clients and customers that have had, have loved you, can rave about you, talk about you in an organic and real way, right? So take the time to shoot quick um, interview testimonial videos, and then you could just upload that right on Facebook. It's really cool to hear from Sarah about um, her closing her house. Check out this quick three minute click, clip with her. And you, you could just always be ready to capture those during your day to day business. The second one is information videos, right? Valuable tips you know, how to's, that's definitely what Steve is doing. And so think like how to select a real estate agent. It's kind of self-referential. Let me give you five tips for selecting a real estate agent. And by the end of this video, you can see that I qualify for all five. <laughs> Let's talk. But you know, I mean tips, right? And, and these are seeds that you can be planting, adding value, how to read an inspection report. Uh, a friend of mine, we launched a project called Video Influencers. And years ago, um, he was doing real estate, in fact, uh, him and his brother got hit hard, of course, 2008, 2009, I'm sure like many of you. And at, at the time, they were doing about 10 houses a year, not good, and uh, got to over 100 houses a year, no joke, because of the YouTube channel. And actually because they did a lot of stuff with HUD and like bank-owned homes and REO and stuff. But they started doing videos, um, you know, HUD homes or buying real estate, what to look for in REO, bank-owned, how, uh, why you need to have a home inspection when buying a house, how to buy a house, valuable content. Can you see how powerful this is? Just stuff that you don't even really need to prep for it. These are things that you, you know it right now. You just turn the camera on and you could probably give me three tips on all this stuff. Like, you're already experts. This is your business. You, the same thing you would talk to somebody over the counter at like a Starbucks and say, oh yeah, let me just give you three quick tips that you should be thinking about in this process. You're ready to go, just turn the camera on and shoot some content. Idea number three, just saying it's kind of what's happening quarter one here in Vegas or even in Summerlin or you know, niching down a little bit in different areas. Number four, local business reviews. Now we're gonna get a little bit out of the box here because you know, of course people don't just buy homes, they buy the area. So what's in the area that you could just talk about? Hey, I just wanna highlight something super cool. You know, it's, this is a great place to buy in this area because they're building out the shopping center and you could start doing things about local businesses. Just educating and helping your current audience as well, adding value and keeping up a relationship 
with people who've already bought or sold with you and, um, and helping people. Number five is go live. Who here has done a live stream yet? Facebook Live, awesome. There's people, you're doing live streams. Just now. You just did a live stream, awesome. <laughs> and so you can use any of these ideas for live, but now this is real time, no video editing, no, you know, nothing to do later. You, you just go live. So you might just go live right from your phone and say, hey, let's just check out this new shopping center, talk about it for five minutes. And you just reviewed a business and said, man, it's a good time to be buying. The market's good right now. The rates are good, whatever it is. And doing live streams around these ideas. All you need is a smartphone and, uh, and you could do that. Number six, of course, listing videos, doing walkthroughs. Nothing really can give people an idea of, of homes better than a listing video, especially if you invest a little bit or just do it yourself, to walk them through, show them, especially, and Vegas is such a transient city, as you know, sometimes people are in a rush and they need to make decisions before even putting boots on the ground, right? And so you can really share a lot of information by showing listing videos, really helping people see the value, walking them through homes. This is, uh, this is also, too, not just where things are now, it's going so much more here where people are going to be expecting. They're actually just going to be expecting this. Like at, at some point, this is just the norm. Like what do you mean you don't have a good you know, listing walkthrough video of the house? I'm just going to go to the person who does because I'm just sitting at home in my boxers drinking my morning coffee because that's how I shop now online, you know, whatever it is. This is where the world is going. So putting out quality listing videos. An about me video? Who has an about me video? Anybody have one that's about you yet? Awesome, uh, somebody in the room, raise your hand. You got one. This is a chance for people to write, know, like, and trust you. Chance to put out a video, a little bit about your bio, but not just your credibility, not just your authority, not just your experience in the business, but also um, your hobbies, your personality. Don't hold back from being you because people want to do business with people they vibe with. And so you can include that. An idea for this is, here's an example on YouTube uh, from Jillian. You could hire a professional. It's like a pr produced video or maybe you have access to that. Or you could just keep it simple. Tripod, have someone hold the phone. Hey, I just want to introduce myself. Now you have an about video and you could make this your YouTube channel trailer or you could also pin it to the top of your Facebook page. So when someone actually goes to your page for the first time, they could see that video. And the key here is done is better than perfect. As soon as we, if you feel like this talk's inspiring, you think about doing video, what might happen is you might get back to actually shooting a video and then you think, oh, wait a minute, the lighting, and I don't know if, wait, what about this, and how's it gonna sound, and how am I gonna, and, and we overthink this stuff. The reality is done is better than perfect. Like, your about video shot on your phone, shared with the world, is gonna generate you a lot more business than a theoretical about video that never actually gets put out on the internet. That's not gonna generate any business, right? Done is always better than perfect. Of course, I have a quality standard, but, but uh, I think a lot of us get paralyzed by perfectionism, and then it leads to inaction. So just do it, get it out there. You can always improve it later. 7.5 is you could also do a video about your company, right? If you want to kind of cover your office in some way that could show your guys' vibe, your style, a little bit about you. Number eight, community events. Um, I just ran the uh, a half marathon at the Rock and Roll. And as you know, so much cool stuff here happens in Vegas. And you could do just little videos. Go live at events. Go live at festivals or street fairs or different things. Because again, if people buy the area, Hey guys, it's super cool, man. It's such a vibe in area. There's really good for kids, really good for schools, whatever it is. Really just being in the community, creating content, and then putting that out there. And then a power tip is tag people who are at the event. Tag people who are at the event, especially on Facebook. Hey, you know, you tag somebody, you can tag them on any of these different platforms. Why? Because then that person's like, oh, I was there with you. I was in the video. And then they click like, which can boost the engagement. They might share it and be like, this was so funny when I ran into her. <laughs> you know, whatever it is. Like, <laughs> like, like the people are like that, right? And that's that cross-promotion organic virality that can happen because you're in the community creating content. People don't just buy the homes, they buy the neighborhood, the location, 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 right? So neighborhood videos, like, you know, maybe someone's like, okay, I'm set on the home, but what's happening in the neighborhood? And then number 10 is just get creative. Get creative. If you've ever seen this guy, love him or hate him, Jim Cramer, Mad Money, you know, when I think about like accounting, uh, I don't think about exciting personally. Uh, I think it's awesome, right? But I don't think about it as crazy, but like he took something like money and numbers and and made it 
creative. He can put a unique spin on it. And so sometimes we can get so boxed in with these ideas. Uh, who here knows who Bill Nye the science guy is, right? Same thing. I, don't, uh, I remember growing up uh, with Bill Nye, but, but science also was not something I was super excited about in school, but I would watch his show because it was creative. He just put some energy into it, some creativity into it. Um, so how can you create creative content to show your personality around your real estate business? There's also things that happen like the internet challenges. Um, ALS ice pack bucket challenge happened years ago. And there's a Keller Williams guy that did the, did the ice bucket challenge and put it online. Some of you might be like, what does this even have to do with business? Everything. It has to do with everything with business. Because you're building relationships. People are vibing with your personality. They're getting to know you. It might just get in front of one person because it's a viral trend and then they start seeing things. Plus, that was for a good cause. Years ago, there was this thing called the Harlem Shake. You remember that? <laughs> You know, you know a lot of real estate groups did videos? You should Google real estate in Harlem Shake and you'll see some videos that are super entertaining on, uh, on YouTube. But here's a Remax, you know, Harlem Shake video. And then this video, yeah, you just watched it, perfect. I'm, uh, amazing, the serendipity of that. But like, it's a rap video, right? Well, how does that grow your business? Well, it, it just puts you out there, personality, flair. The thing, Sally Hogstead wrote a book called Fascinate and she shared one of the most important quotes in social media right now. You should get, grab this one by Sally Hogstead. Different is better than better. A lot of real estate agents, marketing, web pages, Instagram profiles, marketing materials look all the same. And that is the recipe for not growing your business because you just fall into the sea of just sameness, right? So when you begin to just stand out, and maybe even be polarizing, it's fine if you polarize people who would never do business with you, you're going to attract and magnetize the right people that will do business with you. So just think about being, and, and this is, it's, all I'm saying is be you. Be you times two. Maximize your DNA, your style, your values. You get to pick the music of videos. You get to set the whole thing. It's 100% up to you to, to architect this, but remember that different is better than better. So find ways to just stand out, not try to be better than someone who's already got their thing. Find out how to be the best you and stand out. Okay, so I hope that you found that training valuable. And actually, if you want more content like that for growing your business with online video, we actually have a webinar out. It's all about how to 10X your business with online video. So we'll link to that in the description below, or you can just go to 10xwebinar.com. Question of the day, have you started using video for your real estate business? What are some of the ideas that you have? Have you used any of these 10, or are there some others? Let me know in the comment section below. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe for more videos just like this. If you wanna see other videos about growing your business with YouTube, click or tap the screen right there. For other video from Think Media, click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, Think Media is bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon.